Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm bringing you a tutorial today and it's something I'm very like jacked up about this morning because I always think how-to videos are fun and useful, but I feel extra excited about it when I feel like the tidbit of info I have to share is so, so useful. And it's all about this brush. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. Okay, it's $3. I've had this in my collection for some time. I remember after I bought it, it kind of just sat around. This is like the same kind of cut as my Sigma E25, but see how it's like the less fluffy younger sister, you know? This one's really like poofed out. It takes up a bit more space in the crease. This is a little more targeted, and I'm going to show you in this video two separate ways to use this that I think are key for a smoky eye, or maybe not like classic, classic smoky eye where it's like really dark around the inner part of the eye and fades outward, but I'm thinking more smoky eye in terms of just a general fade, taking your shadow and diffusing it outward from your eye somewhat. This does that well in a couple different ways, both above and below the eye, so I'll be showing that in this video. And this is the spectrum of shades in the look. Some of these shades are so shiny, my camera doesn't even want to focus on them. <laughs> um, but I use, let's see, porcelain, I use Prosecco, Olivine, Penny, Forest, and a little bit of soft plum and I'm so happy with it so check it out. I'm gonna take a little eyeshadow primer this is uh, my mini Urban Decay primer potion. I'm just going to dab this all over the lid. I'm first off going into Prosecco it's a really bright shimmery shade. I'm just going to dab this right around my inner corner you can see it really brightens with minimal effort here. Then I'm going into Olivine, which is a really interesting shade that I don't think I gave nearly enough credit to um, in my review video. It's just this brilliant like silvery shade with a hint of olive. It's very shiny and metallic. So I'm going to pat this all over the lid and I'm really going to um, take up the entire lid space. So really get it all the way up to the crease. And I just build it up little by little. You could really quickly just slap a bunch of this on because it is so pigmented, but you know how I roll. Next, perk your ears up. This is a key step for the smoky eye and the key brush that I like to use for it. So this is the e.l.f. blending brush from the Studio Line $3 brush. See how it's kind of flat um, as you turn it sideways, but it definitely has a taper going all the way down the side. So with our just basic crease shade, we're really going to take advantage of the side of the brush. So I'm tapping into ash and I'm not really using the tip, I'm using the side of this brush. Then we're just going to work this brush like a wet Edge right here in the outer um, part of the crease and see how it just kind of perfectly creates with the taper of the bristles and where the product has been picked up it creates this perfect little like a semicircle on the outer part of the eye so when you're wanting to do smoky looks and kind of bring your shadow outward from the eye you know you're really paying attention to your own bone structure here by putting it right here and then kind of pulling it outward. I just had like a bare minimum on my brush right there, but go back for more. Continue building it up as much as you want. Um, take it inward as far as you want. Utilize the tip of the brush more as you go inward. So I'm just feeling like it makes the placement of that shade when you want to go outward from your eye a little bit, it makes it so much more of a no-brainer type move. And then I'm going to go back into ash. Nice ash. Sorry, I had to. For the under eye, I'm going to dip straight in to ash. So picking up product only on the tip of the brush that way. And this brush is giving us a nice amount of smokiness when we use it that way. Again, product is only on the tip and I'm just pulling it from that outer corner inward. And because of another shade I'm gonna incorporate, I'm gonna stop it like right about here. And then I'm going to blend over the outer part of everything I've got here. I'm going to pull in this dark matte green called Forest with my Sonia Kashuk Small Shadow Brush. This shade I'm just going to tap on my outer corner and it just looks so pretty. Um, as it kind of overlaps that olivine shade. And I'm kind of working some of that into just the crease crease part. I'm not really pulling it outward too much, but just really getting it in there into the crease. Then I'm gonna use an olive liner in my lower inner rim. This is a Wayne from um, the Mr. Right Now line from the Balm. Then because Penny is such a little rock star in this palette, it's gorgeous. I'm picking that up with a smudge brush. And you could definitely take olivine under the eye, but something about this little bit different tone that you get from Penny 
I just love it right here under like the center of the lower lash line. Just two more quick things that I want to do to this look. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of soft plum with uh, my white wispy E36 brush and I just want to take a little bit of that shade kind of as a transition type color just over ash. Just gives the look a little something extra. I'm not even sure I can put my finger on it. And then I'm taking this matte shade porcelain right here with my E40 and that is going to be our highlight under the brow. I'm going to do a little black liquid liner on the upper lash line. This is my Jordana Color Envy in Black Envy, so just a matte black liquid liner. Then I'm going to give my lashes a curl using my Maybelline Chaotic Mascara up top, which when applied in a normal way isn't all that chaotic, <laughs> as I described in a review video not that long ago. Then I'm going to be popping on some of my favorite false lashes. These are my um, Coco Lashes number 201, and I will link below to my full false lash tutorial if you need some extra tips. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Powder. I believe the shade is St. Lucia. Um, and I'm going to go into the bronzer with my e.l.f. Complexion Brush that I use all the time. And I'm going to give myself a light gentle cheek contour here. I'm feeling a little feisty this morning because I actually got a full night's sleep without anyone waking me up last night. No babies woke me up. No snoring men woke me up. Just gotta say, feel pretty good about it. And I got myself one of the super cute Pioneer Woman coffee mugs last time I was at Walmart, so my coffee's tasting extra good this morning. I'm gonna go around the hairline with this as well. I'm all about the gentle contour these days. I just, you know, keeping it light, keeping it easy. But I forgot how much I love this. I mean, clearly I loved it because I completely hit pan on this, but I'm gonna be digging into my other shades of this that I got as well, I think. And I'm gonna use the blush in here as well because I just think it's a perfect kind of neutral type tone for what I'm going with today. You know, like the soft pinks here in my shirt, I'm kind of wanting to pull that out in my blush and maybe the lip color too. This blush is kind of glowy and I'm going to just dip into that with my up and up blush brush and just start applying there on the outer part of the apple of the cheek. Beautiful. I just love putting on blush. Mm. For the lip color, I might do kind of a mixy thing here. I've got my double-ended bite lipstick with um, date and fig. As you can see, fig is more pinky. I don't know that I want to go quite that pink, so I'm going to put date on first and just go from there. This, these are the Luminous Cream lipsticks. I believe they still sell this duo, which is a great duo to have. Dang, I mean, date just might be the perfect amount of color, actually. I don't know that I want to even go more than that. I really like that. Now there are two kinds of buns in my world. This kind of bun, which was thrown up with no effort. And then there's the kind where I really like try to neaten it up. So I'm gonna go neaten it up and then I'm gonna come back. Let's be real, the hair is probably dirty enough today to stay up in a bun on its own minus clip. <laughs> But guys, this is the finished look. Um, I think this is one of my favorite looks that I've done with this palette, just because I think it utilized um, some unique shades. I really love Penny, as you know, even though that didn't really get a starring role in this look. I mean, it's definitely like supporting actress in a comedy, for sure. And um, then Olivine, I think, is just like awesome. Love that. Using that with Forest is definitely a must-try thing. But this brush, I mean, it made it so easy and I'm gonna like work this into other looks so I don't know so you can continue to see this in action I'll keep using this because I really love extending my shadow outward like that but sometimes you know brushes can just be a little large for the task so I think this is really perfect but thank you guys so much for watching be on the lookout for lots of new tutorials and reviews coming soon and I'll see you later bye